the squirrel up there earlier, it sounded just like Donald Duck. Wait, what did Donald sound like? <laughs> to go get Brittany? Yep. Yep. Take her to the beach. So we put Brent up at the Evergreen Pet Lodge. It's just down from the Hilton Head Resort. Um, kind of on the, I guess, the east side of the island. It's... $49 a night, I think, about 48 bucks or something, but they give you a 10% discount if you're staying at Disney, which is really awesome. Um, so they got kennels and boarding and daycare and all that kind of stuff, but you can come check your pet out um, for the day. So we're gonna do that and take her over to the beach, because you take dogs to the beach and go have some fun with her. So it's kind of cool, because then your dog can still participate in the vacation, even though like the resort doesn't allow dogs. Who is that? <laughs> Who is this girl? Oh goodness gracious. Are you excited or what, Penny? <laughs> Her belt's oh, in the no. back. You gotta put your I'm leash on first. Alright, so this is the Disney Beach House side. Can't take pets in there either, obviously. So we're walking around this other side. But you take dogs out on the beach and then we'll go back in here and show you all that. What is it? Oh, Peeny. She's gonna be a disaster. Come on. Keep going. Let's go. Hey, we have to. More to see. What do you think? This is not comfortable. This is freezing water. Not the type of spring break water you want. Hey, I got one. All right, just not, uh, just the warmth just isn't there. It's too windy and it just has too much of a chill to it. So we're gonna go up by the pool. We're gonna take Bryn back. It's about three o'clock. She gotta be checked back in by five. So we're gonna take her back, get her checked in. We'll come back to the pool, hang out for a little bit, and then I think we'll go barbecue. Uh, that resort has fantastic barbecues. They got charcoal barbecues, but they have uh, propane ones all around the area. Really nice ones, and you can get utensils and kind of barbecue stuff. So I think we're gonna do burgers, maybe some steaks, who knows. But it's a lovely beach. Doesn't get too crowded, but then again, it is still early. It's spring and it's not warm, so it's not desirable to everybody, but. Still a good time. Have a good night. Here, Ty, throw these in there. Dang. Kind of nice. Nice utensils. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to barbecue for dinner, and all you got to do is ask. Just ask if they have utensils and bring them. It's kind of cool. So your puppy wasn't too sad when you dropped her off, you think? No, I think she was okay. She's alright. She she's, had a good day with her mommy. She settled in now. And sisters. I think she had some fun at the beach. She was yeah. in heaven and just. Relaxing and chilling. So we got mini golf, horseshoes, bochi ball, cornhole, shuffleboard. shuffleboard. Good playground. Good playground over here, a little park. The other pool over here. Games you can get, rentals. Again, fishing pole, casting nets for crabs. Do you remember that kind of stuff? It's quite the beach attire right there. So it's like super low, low tide. Father-in-law said last time they stayed here and it was obviously high tide. 
he's um they see manatees off that end end dock down there so it's kind of cool to check out I think that's one of my favorite things is how much stuff they have for kids to actually do here activity wise and they keep it all very organized and fun for them. So Michelle over at the uh, other pool was fantastic and she told us about the best hammock and grill in the, in the area between building 29 and 30 and this is 29. I don't know if that would be it. Is it back there? Oh, look at this little chill spot, though. Dude, if you were in 29 right here, and you could just have this little area to yourself, kind of. I mean, you gotta deal with gators and snakes, but. Cara, get off of this. I just went through the hammock. Don't you no, dude, just let me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna put up a board like you did. How cute is this? <laughs> Oh, Look at how cute this around. is. Oh. 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 Are you playing in the women's league? Hey. What are you doing, James? Ow. Are you doing push ups? This is the dang kitty pool. It's for babies. Yeah. So why are you in it? Because this is the only pool we can go in. I thought you were a big kid. Huh? I thought you were a big kid. Hey, don't poop in it this time. We did that too. Yeah, you did. So compared to Vero, which one do you like better? Well, Vero is right on the beach, so you can walk out and see the sunset. The water is a little bit cleaner in Vero, but I mean, I like both of them. You got a shorter drive to here. That's always nice. Not 12 hours. You only have seven. seven. Let's see how good your putting is, Babs. Oh. See if you could sink one. I got a hundred bucks if you sink this thing. Crisp hundred dollar bill. Uh oh. Ooh. What? It's totally rigged. I figured they wouldn't eat it till midnight. A lot of meat. Let's go cook some bigas. You know what to do with that spatula? You sure? This is perfect. We can play horseshoes while the burgers are on. That's a great one. I mean, it looks good, right? These are bull. Bull is a fantastic barbecue. They spared no expense. Whoa! Out of the court. Oh, now you got robbed. <laughs> we ain't got much for seasoning, so we're going with salt and pepper. It's something. Beggars can't be choosers at this point, so. We got cheese though, that's good. Look at that, that was your best throw yet. Kenzie's got a new little French playing with uh, Aldi burgers are fantastic. Aldi has some great burgers in the frozen section that are, I don't like frozen burgers often, but these are just so good. It's just easier to go to Aldi or go to the store and buy food, especially when you have a full kitchen and just make meals. Uh, especially with this economy nowadays, it is expensive to go out. Just a family of four, it's almost a hundred bucks. By the time you get drinks and food and they get an appetizer or something, that's not even bells and whistles to a fancy place. That could be just Texas Roadhouse or something simple, so. We're thrifty when we need to be. Uh, have a good meal, home cooked meal. Have some fun too. It moves. I think you got yourself a boyfriend. Baylor, you better watch out. No. He's an at he's a professional athlete too. He knows. See that double ringer? Dude, <laughs> did you see the jumbo? Oh, the jumbo was legit. Jumbo is literally everything. He threw the whole kitchen sink. And then all of a sudden he's like, Do you want to know how to play horses? He saw <laughs> how do you even play? Oh! He saw his first love from a mile away. That's why it... he went sprinting. Mackenzie's got a boyfriend. She showed him how to play horseshoes. She said he's gonna be sitting on the bench waiting for her to come back. Right. Well, we're getting there. Thousand pieces. We're probably halfway at least. I think everybody's eyes started uh, hurting a little bit though, so we're gonna call it a night. And we'll pick back up tomorrow. Tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful, warm, uh, amazing, no wind. So we will have some more fun at the beach and the pool. But uh, as for now, that is it from South Carolina.